generic greetings and welcome back once again to Prison Architect where in the previous episode we start construction on our mixed prisoner categorization transfer facility if that makes any sense and what that meant was essentially building a huge lump of concrete on the right hand side and then a small bit on the top left in order to get lots of grants done grants like the basic detention center the staff well-being initiative some of the janitorial ones we've currently got three on the go a cell block a visitation rights and long-term investment which will be finished in 13 hours and five minutes minutes or in-game seconds really so we're in a fairly decent state money wise 62,393 only losing 675 per day and obviously we have enough time to continue cracking on and not only get some more grants done but also get this thing fit for prisoner habitation so let's just crack on with that one over to the cell block over here and then I'm going to go to cell and I'm going to build just one cell the model cell that will then clone for the rest of it now there's been several suggestions for changes and what we can do over here and I'm not entirely sure exactly the sort of things we want to really change. Now, most of the suggestions seem to sort of focus around not having grading in the medium risk and having a very poor high risk grade and a very good low risk grade. So it gives the prisoners a lot more incentive to want to reduce their grade down to get access to more facilities and to better cells. I actually think that's a very good and smart idea and incorporates a lot of the stuff that has been added to the game. So we are going to run with that. So we'll have a really terrible high risk cell so it will be things like the slum wall to reduce the grade we're going to have really low graded cells and then the um the ones for low risk will have very very high graded cells we're not going to have every single cell high graded though because prisoners can be in any cell that they want so if, if, if sorry I'll, I'll rephrase that a prisoner can have say a grade of 10 that's what they are allowed to be in so they can go in anything below that however if a prisoner is only entitled to say a cell grading of one i think there's a two or three grace period that they can go up in and after that they're then just not allowed into it so a prisoner that's entitled to a cell grading of one can't go into a 10 so you can't have a maximum a maximum um, fully gra upgraded cell block so that's why i'm still thinking of perhaps keeping small number of graded cells in here it's only four cells it's only four cells i mean we could if we wanted to do that and that and then bring it back to something like that you know if we wanted to get rid of those grades but i think having a little bit extra like this may be may be okay because if they come from say a really horrible slum area up here that could be say the high risk down into this one then all that's going to happen is if they um well obviously this will be better than what they have but then if there's a little bit extra a little bit more carrot there for them i don't know maybe that will work out maybe it won't we'll just have to see anyway as you can see this cell is now almost complete i'm going to put the door on this as a jail dog Gray. Now, the reason for that is I did mention that we were going to have the low, medium, and max cell blocks, but I'm not entirely sure exactly what's going to be uh, what's, what's going to be what. So I assume that up the north, that an area around here will be designated to perhaps the super, max, and high grade stuff. South will be the low risk, so it'll go low, medium, and then large. But I haven't entirely decided whether these ones will definitely be medium or whether they'll be mixed. I'm really not too sure at the moment. Also, it depends on just how much we expand by. So if we expand down here, we could easily have a, say, medium and a low one, and then these will be, like, mixed or medium, and then we'll have a medium and then a high one. I haven't yet fully decided, but so that's why we're keeping our options open by doing this here. Anyway, you can see that is pretty much in, so I'm going to go to quick build and then to clone, and I'm going to clone all of this here and then just work our way down and across. And obviously there is uh, a little bit of a problem first because we've actually got no lights in here, so what I should probably do is place a light in there, and it means... Uh, actually, no, no, no point because they're already lit in some of these ones down here you don't actually need a light which is a strange one that you don't need but i'm going to put them in this place nonetheless um that should be fine back over to our quick build and then clone and rotate that around and then flip it so that is now exactly like the one above there i think that is correct yeah and it's making this noise for some reason so i don't know what that is it's saying it's blocked, but I don't think it is. It might be because, oh, the lights are having to remove the lights. Yeah, so we might have to actually put the lights in ourselves anyway. So that is 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18 cells, which means this will be done 
uh, shortly, which is fairly good, and that means cell block A will be completed. We've also got visitation rights there, which we are going to have to do something in around this place here. Obviously, we've now got janitors as well to make this thing slightly less terrible <laughs> when it comes to the sanitation part of it. Anyway, as you can see, we've got uh, a lot of the cells at the top done. We still need power and lighting, so let's go over to utilities and electrical cable, and we can indeed run this stuff if we want to. So this can go up to there and then along like so and then we'll run the electrical cable in to the center probably there and there is reasonable that might not meet that might meet up with everything but we'll just have to see how we get on there although maybe the better way of doing it would be to go along the center that way and then up. No, it's, it's gone up that way. It means if we uh, route it this way and we put another power thing in, we can always change it a bit better than if it was a sort of central uh, power cable. So we've got a total of 11 cells so far. Just double checking that, yeah, prisoner transfer is off. I will just double check in there. Sorry, that's transfers, not intake. Intake, yeah, is uh, definitely turned off, so that is fine. Over to our uh, grants, because we've just finished the... So what was that? Short-term investment? It was, yes, we've got criminally insane when we're not building, security procedures, certification, climatization. Uh, actually, climatization is one that we could very easily do. So I think we will pick that up like, um, let's say, assign three prisoners. So we might as well pick that one up there. And then we've also got the cell block A done. So we're now going to go for cell block B. And we're now on 107 generic units, uh, 107,000 generic units of currency. Bank loan is still there. I'm going to increase that a little bit just to make sure we take more money out and then increase our overall maximum bank loan. Maximum loan currently 22,000 based on the credit rating of 4.0. And let's go over to objects and then to lighting. And then we want to place lighting in the same sort of place that we have in the rest of the facility so there we go and obviously they're waiting just to put in the electrical cable back over to utilities then and electrical pipe uh, sorry not electrical uh, pipe small pipe uh, we'll place the small pipe in like so and then we're probably going to run the pipe down the center like that and hopefully that'll connect everything up and then obviously connect up the shower that's in the middle there as well this is going to be a security room this is going to be a and like I say, a sort of graded section if we actually have it. Haven't yet fully decided myself, but we'll see how we go. I'm going to go over to flooring, and I want to see what sort of stuff we can put on the outside. Realistically, oh, it's a flowery field and uh, a running track. Cool. Uh, realistically, we're probably going to place the concrete tiles because that's just our default option for placing these sort of things. So let's do just that. So I'm just going to place a little bit of walkway for roughly where the prisoners will be traversing and mainly where the workers are traversing at the moment. So there's themselves in. We're not going to place the tiles in on the ground just yet. But what we do want to do is go to foundation and then remove. And we want to bulldoze all of the foundation up to the back there, including that door, because this is where we're going to have that bridge that goes from there to there to separate these two areas off. Now, whether or not this works or not, we really have to just sort of suck it and see but uh, let's see what happens when we remove this foundation so obviously lights to be removed the door to be removed lots of stuff to be fixed and changed there and yeah it looks like they're all removing it oh it looks actually they've demolished the door and the light i would have thought they'd at least build over that but they haven't anyway this one also will be on the outside as well so we'll place that to the back there this will go along here the problem with this being on the outside is that i'll have to place um some probably some doorways across oh no I, I think actually do i need a wall across there i might need a brick wall let me just double check that so i'll place the brick wall there and a brick wall there and then i'll place the bridge that goes over the top because if this doesn't work then we're sort of screwed a bit You've also got your max sec wall there and the yellow wall, so this is for the different grading. Yes, we are probably going to have that. Uh, this one is just the standard brick because this is the unknown mixed area, but when we have these specific cells for low, medium, high, all that, we'll, we'll use those. Anyway, objects and then to, down to the bridges here, and it's going to be foot bridge, and we'll use the metal one if we can actually find it. Uh, let's go for bridge so it's still footbridge and we can not go over there but we can go over there it does require a little bit extra so i'm going to put one in there and another one in there because i do like the the double footbridge and hopefully that will function fine they've actually went up and over perfectly well there so that seemed to work out quite well one hang on why does it have it let me cancel those let me cancel all of those cancel 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 it's not doing anything of the sort okay dismantle all of these sections then yeah, it looks like they're actually sorting that anywhere, just because the, the gap wasn't correct between them all. And that one does need to be dumped. And steel bridge dismantle as well. 
And it looks like they're stuck again. Mm, are they going to ahead, go ahead and do that? They have done that. That's fine. Okay. Back over to objects then. And then to the steel footbridge. And we do have extra sections. So it's three and three. There we go. So we've actually it's, uh, equidistant. That was the main issue. It's one, two, three to the wall. And then it was two to the wall. It was actually two of this one. Anyway, it's uh, fixed there. And they do seem to be traversing it a lot better than they did previously. Whether or not this actually works or not uh, in the long term, we'll have to see. And also putting it together... Uh, I don't know if that could be an issue, but anyway, let's go over to foundation, then building brick, and we're going to place a foundation up the top there like so, and then down the bottom there like that as well. And then we also want to put in a, well, we need to put in some entranceways for visitation, because visitation is going to be here and then here. And while we do a building brick, I'm going to build probably this section here. This is going to be a gymnasium and a, well, it's a gymnasium and a common room, so... That's what that one will be. Let's go over to our doors here. Standard door, which will go in. Do you want to put one right in front of this one, Eric? There. Mm, we could probably do that. Have a double door. Like that. And like so. And I'm going to place it on the other side as well. Like that, so they can go straight through and access from the other side anywhere. This one requires a door. It will be a visitor door. So they're now in. So that's all being generated. Those doors are the wrong orientation. Yeah, they are the wrong orientation. So dismantle, dismantle, dismantle and dismantle. It's a shame there's not an actual double a double door but just general purpose but there you are you can see the cracking on placing all of the lighting in we'll have to put some power cables in there so let's just place one of these in well that to me is the direction it should be but let's see if that is actually the case or not well we've got all this stuff to do no, it slides along to there. So I don't think it really matters. Um, okay. Well, if that one slid that side, will that one be the right way? No, that would have to be there to slide that way, would it? Let's try. Let's test this theory out. That one removed. I'm going to place this one, which goes there. Alright. Um, fine, I guess. So that one should be correct then. Or is it just going to slide that way? No, that one slides that way correctly. Okay. So then, that one to there then surely should be correct. Yes, that is correct. Okay. That's what I thought I did originally, but apparently not. Let's put those in. See if they activate like we would expect. Yeah. Thought that's what I did in the first place, but apparently not. Okay, they're now opening. Uh, we do still need to have an open area for this one, so I'm going to put one there and... I'll put one there, but we're not going to do the bottom one. Now, this is where we have our visitation. Um, and the question becomes then, do we have the same visitation? As in, let's go over to planning and then to our objects. So standard visitation tables are 3 by 2 So we could have visitation like that. Something along those lines. Another option because of the size of this thing would be 3 and then... Um, like that. No, that doesn't really fit in quite nicely, so we'll probably do something like that. Um, so it'll be quite a large visitation. Only eight, so it's not actually that large. But the other option is to have that removed and have it all the way along to there with the closed booths. I think that would be the right call. The reason for that is if we have 
it open like that on both sides, we won't then be able to grade it as such that, say, high risk doesn't have access to these ones to like stop the contraband. So that's what we want to do. Have them like that. Okay, that's fine. It does mean that the wall that goes across like that will be sadly right next to these, but it doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter. Um, will that do? So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then two, four, six, eight. That works out perfectly well. Hmm. Okay. So we'll do that. And it does say to get visitation rights, we need to build a visitation room. So let's do that. So visitation room, we will designate in like, oh no, close that one. Uh, this one here, we will then obviously put in the wall along the left hand side. And then for the rooms, we want to have the visitor, um, visitors like that facing up. And that should be that one done. I build a visitation room, yes. At least three visit tables, yes. Okay, going to go down to our utilities and electrical cable. This will run down and then across the back like so. Um, that's because we can then sort of build in. Um, speaking of in, are we just going to build across and then up? I mean, that, that means that... Yeah, that's fine, because then when the grid on this one becomes too much, we can always shift this around if need be. Okay, so let's go for capacitors, big capacitor row down the centre there, and then we'll run up the electrical cable in the sort of spine of this, like so, which will then simply have, I don't know, just like a little section like that, and that should power up everything in those rooms. If not, well, then we'll put some more in. So a common room, pool table, two TVs, and five phone booths. Well, the phone booths are quite easy in here, so let's put in some phone booths. So I'm going to put in, well, it says five phone booths. I'm going to put in one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. That's now sorted in there. But also for the canteen, when we check that, we can see that it's asking for things like fan, a plant, um, that sort of thing. A drinks machine improves the canteen's grade. Snack machine and water cooler. So a lot of these will improve the grade. We'll get onto that once we have some prisoners and we know a little bit more what, what we're dealing with. So that's fine. Over to the walls and we're going to brick off the gymnasium and the common room. What Which is going to be which? I think the uh, probably bottom one can be gymnasium and then the common room i mean it doesn't really matter can be the top one there as well and obviously we do need to now sort out the things that are in here so it's recommending sorry it's actually asking for in the grants here the pool table and two televisions so let's go ahead and add in those things we've also got table football as well but pool table we can have one two and oh, can we not have one either side we can have one there one there and I would like a couple of table footballs and maybe table tennis in. Um, but, I mean, they are going to have to sadly be next to one another, like that. But, I mean, I don't think that matters too much. So there is our table tennis and our little miniature football table. You've got paintings and chess tables and things like that. Let's just put in the TVs first. So TVs will go either side, like, actually, we'll just put them there and there. And then obviously chairs, which will go like that. And then along here. And then for the rest of it, it's recommending like gym mats and stuff, but we don't. You've got arcade cabinet, improves the grade of it. So we can put arcade cabinets in. We can put in sofas, although it doesn't increase the grade. Snack machines we're not going to have in here. We've also got some chess tables. So that sort of thing we can put in there. But that is another grant done, which I'm perfectly happy with. Let's go for probably security procedure certification, which says get a security chief, requires an office, hire some guards, that sort of thing. So we can get a chief, so let's do that. So we'll hire a chief. We'll then check out our bureaucracy and we can see that we've got deployment um, surveillance uh, I'm gonna unlock to unlock education we need to unlock patrols and get some guards on the patrol route so those are in but we don't have an office so let us sort that one out now so we're gonna go over to planning no quick build cloning select all of those like so and actually it's there isn't it and there we go. That's going to put in the uh, the office for them there. Okay, so this is in. I want to probably put, for the time being, 
large jail door on that side. All this is going to be staff only, so that's fine. Assign three prisoners to a laundry, kitchen and cleaning cupboard. Well, we currently ain't got a laundry, so that's a bit of an issue. <laughs> Today's beverage is a cup of green tea with a hint of lemon. And also we've got a TV just on the top there. Why is there a TV just dumped on the footbridge? <laughs> I don't know why. I don't know why. Anyway, electrical cable. Run that right into the centre. That's now fine. These are all powered up. And unlock patrols through bureaucracy. We are researching deployment. Let's research patrols. Then we'll get dogs. Um, intelligence. We want to go on the, put on the go in education on the go too. We don't want any tax relief for the time being. Uh, actually it would be quite good, but for 10 grand, is it worth it? Yes, it is for what we have at the moment. And we don't need micromanagement, nor do we need land expansion or armory, and we de definitely don't need orderlies. Okay, so a gymnasium requires some things to be placed, but I'm not focusing on that for the time being. We need to go for things like um, a kitchen, assignment for jobs, cleaning cupboard and the laundry. So the laundry where are we going to place the laundry? So obviously this is going to be a kitchen, this is going to be a canteen which could be expanded down south there as well. Um, I was going to perhaps move the storage to somewhere else because I don't think we need a large storage like that but let's assume that maybe these ones here will be the different rooms and we can actually probably go ahead and place these to be honest with you because well at least it give us some uh, if if we place them at least we know we've got like the the room there spare for it. So let's put a laundry say up here. It's not going to be a huge laundry. I don't think it will be. Uh, I don't think we need a a massive laundry. So we'll place that in there like there. Um, on the bottom then, let's go for probably a mail room. So we'll place the mail room in like so. Although that is larger than really required. So let's go for perhaps a shop on the bottom there, like that. Go over to planning and we'll place in the walls because it'll just give us a little bit easier time to see these things. Naturally, we'll have to. Yeah, we can hardly see the the rooms because it's so dark but there you are classroom will go in and we'll probably place that in here as well and what sort of size are we on are we on uh, eight by eight i think that is is that an eight by eight i think they are on an eight by it is an eight by eight so yeah go back to shop and then place that in like so so we're doing eight by eight for the time being on a lot of these things we'll place a chapel up the top there that is one of the rooms that we probably will increase the size of because it tends to be uh, something you want a quite a large room of we'll place a library down the bottom there just running up with that so laundry shop classroom chapel a library let's run up there i'm just going to double check the sizes so that is yeah that is eight and we're already running out of space aren't we so Pause it for a second while we work this one out. So we're not going to have workshop in here just yet. Clinic will not have. Infirmary is something we do need. And at the moment there isn't any room for it. So that's a problem. Uh, so laundry, shop, cha classroom, chapel, library. We haven't got a mail room. We haven't got parole. And... I mean, kennel we don't. We're not going to see there. So actually we've got the room to put a lot of this in. So the classroom is the right size, the shop's the right size, the laundry's probably about right, the chapel is probably too small. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to shift these rooms, library in the classroom. The library will go here, get rid of that planning, which that bug's still in the game. So you do something like that, right? And if you remove it, without selecting any of these tools, it still sits there unless you select one of the tools. Don't know why. Anyway, let's uh, go over to rooms again. So we've got our library. Yeah, that's fine. So. Library. That's it, yeah. Followed by the classroom. And then this is going to be the chapel. 
think that makes sense. Chapel. Double check the sizing eight, yeah, and then that there. So the chapel's slightly larger on ten, but we did expect that to be a little bit bigger there. So library, chapel, classroom and shop. At the top we've got a laundry. We then need mail rooms, which is not going to be as large, only six this time. Followed by parole, perhaps. Five and five, because we do need probably two of those. And then finally, uh, infirmary. with an attached morgue on the back. I think that's right. I'll double check it in a moment. How many beds can we fit in there? We fit eight beds in there. Um, it's not ideal. I'd like it to be one more. Okay. Wall of there. Wall of there wall there and just shrink that mill room down just a tiny bit for reasons that hopefully will come clear in a moment so get rid of all of that get rid of that so it's parole it has to be the size it has to be a, a, a five by something so yes it's a five by eight a little bit large but you know it's fine it's fine infirmary then we'll place that in like so and like so the bit at the back here i don't know whether we want to how do we want to have the morgue? We could have a a morgue up here. I mean, in reality, you don't even need a morgue in the game. It's not something you need. Seriously, you don't you don't need a morgue. <laughs> you really don't. Um, if anyone ever dies in the facility, the ambulance comes straight away and you take them out. You don't actually need a morgue inside. Inside it, it's just something that we normally build for, you know, completeness. Okay, it'll go along like so, and then we'll have two morgue slabs in there. Probably going to need more, but there you are. We are having high risk and such, and even supermax, so it could go horribly wrong. But at least we've got a morgue in. We can always, when we expand to the left, increase the size of this. And as always, we're not doing anything that we can't redo later on. We do tend to overplan these things and try and think about the future and the consequences and all that sort of thing but at the end of the day they're not set in stone so just have a quick look then morgue yes common room laundry visitation cleaning cupboard no stuff room yes library that's fine classroom mail room reception yeah that's that's about right that is about right i think okay so we need to build all of that naturally however i think for the time being we will leave it there that has been a nice little bit of building we've got in the main central section here we've got in the gymnasium and the common room and obviously all of the cells furnished on the left hand side so not too bad at all still uh, nowhere near getting prisoners i say nowhere near probably back towards the end of next episode we could probably think about doing that because we just need so a couple more prisoners sorry a couple more cells finished off a little bit more power we're in the center here for things like the laundry and that sort of thing and uh, a bit more in the kitchen so yeah i think that's what we'll aim for we'll tr aim for hopefully getting prisoners towards the end of the next episode but we'll see as always how it goes <laughs> hope you have uh, enjoyed the episode and the series thus far comments in the comments thanks very much for watching take care and generic partings <laughs>